how important is location in terms of this business? Mm. Location is very, very important in any business, especially mm. with the type of our business that we are doing. Mm. If anyone wants to do such business, you need to look for a location that is very, 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 very close to the city center or mm -hmm close to the area that a lot of people are passing through right so that uh, at least the more people pass through they can see your sh your shop and mm. uh, that can bring you sales as well mm. and uh, so that is why I said that and also you have to make sure that uh, you are in the area that you have a lot of uh, community because uh, I mean we as part of the, the type of the business you have yeah. to you cannot say okay you want yeah, to have African. the same <laughs> africa idea you know <laughs> so even though we have a lot of other people that yeah. are coming to buy but mm. our target is africa because yeah that is the people that mm. is those who we hit your food that that is what they are used to and that's right. what they know mm -hmm. the food they know so yeah. you have to make sure you have a lot the population is mm. in that area mm. and that can help your business yeah. to grow with this generally we get some if it's mm. like a food so some we import it from africa okay and some we we buy it in uk because mm. there are some wholesalers that you can go to yeah. and uh, they have they sell to they don't sell to individual they mm. sell to maybe business retailers to okay. yeah so mm. and there are a lot of them as well mm. so we have a, not in this area but i can we buy from they are in London, they are in Birmingham, mm. that they have wholesalers that one can buy from them to start with. Because if you just want to start, you say you want to bring from Nigeria, maybe let's say for example food, mm. and you want to bring food from Nigeria, yeah. it's going to you are just starting. So yeah. You don't have the idea of it. Yeah. You don't know what you need to bring. Mm -hmm. And if you want to bring from Nigeria, you need to bring a container, maybe minimum of 20 foot. Mm -hmm. So that would be a lot of money. And also okay. that we, if you bring, that we, you cannot bring everything from mm -hmm. Nigeria because all the product doesn't come from Nigeria. Yeah. Some come from Ghana, some come from different parts of the world. Yeah. So, okay, and so these people get it from, uh, it's better to start with wholesale. start from wholesalers and okay. uh, see how it goes. Then you cannot go to maybe bring in from Nigeria, bring in from, from Ghana. Nigeria. Then okay. at that time you need to register with uh, yeah. all these, uh, <coughs> uh, maybe inland revenue or whatever so okay. before you can bring anything. So, yeah. so you mentioned wholesaler as um, one of the sources where you get uh, stock from um, so if somebody wants to register with wholesaler because they, you said they deal with business to business so yes. what are the requirements what are the things that they ask for I, I think allow? I think recently there is a, with the first video that we did mm. someone called me to ask out how ah, okay. she can start the business here mm. and where are the area that the place that she can get the the stocks so and i gave her the number of one of the of the wholesaler in london and okay. uh, she called them and she now came back to me to tell me that uh, they asked for f few things that she didn't have at ah, that time right. so, okay. and what are the things is that you need they, they want to see your proof of address mm -hmm. they want to see your your passport mm -hmm. just to show that truly you is resident you, are, you, here. Res here you, here you live here legally and mm. uh, you have your the premises as well okay. that is where they need the proof the of address, address. Okay, so yeah. these are mm. the things that they need mm. before they can start registering Actually, you and send you goods from them so and what are the other services like to consider not just like oh you just open up and then you're only selling food I think Put the stuff, first thing right. that uh, anybody that wants to have shops you have in their mind is not about the money, mm -hmm. it's about serving the community. Okay. And uh, part of what we do in the shop is that we help some people to, we take bills, some people okay. they come in, yeah. they pay their bills. Mm -hmm. Those who cannot go to bank to go or post office to queue, maybe mm -hmm. this place is very near nearer to them. Okay. So they come in, they pay their bills. With that, we have we we try to help the community in that those who are around us in that area, and mm -hmm. also we have a cash machine now for oh, okay. those people okay, not, it's not, it's not, it's not for the you cannot it's just for those people who want to withdraw like five pounds oh, okay. you know the maximum you can withdraw is 10 pounds i mean 50 pounds 50 pounds okay yeah, so yeah, it's not, not for yeah. those who have is those who 
people that want to withdraw ten pound, five pound, two pounds, mm. things like that. So, so and also we do money transfer as well. Right. We send money to. We have Western Union. We are agent mm. to Western Union. We are agent to MoneyGram, mm. and also RIA. So we yeah. send money to all part of the world, mm. and also we do. We have a salon as well. Yes, I so, don't. Yeah, I think you said women. Uh, yeah, yeah, for the women. Well. So we don't cut here, but we do for, and we have extension. Okay. So those who want to do their braids and all the rest. So with all this, it brings a lot of people to the shop, and uh, so that is how uh, it yeah. is for now. Like, is it better to test the idea first or to just go straight away open the shop? So I'm saying, like, is it better, like, maybe try and sell to family and friends mm, to do or the, just go straight to open the, the shop? Yeah, it all depends. Mm. You can start from maybe to maybe from home. Mm -hmm. And uh, because in our own case, when we started, we started from home. Mm. And th at that time, it was in London. Okay. And uh, we started by informing maybe from church, third church members, we yes. do this and we deliver to them, mm. things like that, just to get the knowledge and the idea of what are the people, what, what exactly are people want okay. at that time. But I would say sometimes it doesn't really necessary because we started in London from home, mm -hmm. then we moved to Gloucester. Oh, okay. And then when we moved to Gloucester, we didn't start from home. We just right. look for the for, oh, okay. the, just the, for the shop, oh, okay. look for the premises, yeah. and we just start mm. straight away. But maybe the only, I would say, the only advantage I had at that time was that I've known some of the food that I can buy that I know that a lot of people will be looking for if I open uh, that shop right, and if okay. I put it on the shelf. Yeah. Other than if I go straight to look mm -hmm. for the apartment, I don't know the food I'm. Um, what type of yeah, product, product that would be that popular? Would be, yes, that we buy at uh, that okay. time. Yeah. So. He, 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 anybody you can go for maybe from start from home or you can start straight away actually i'll tell you that i've never do any advert okay my advert is one customer tell another and uh -huh. why is that because when your customer service is very good mm -hmm. and uh, they and they come in and uh, they see you that you are polite mm. they will come back and they are going to tell somebody right and the other person will tell another person and that is why we we grow it right i'm not saying the new, you shouldn't do the advert mm -hmm. but yeah. i've never done one yeah and i still have a lot of customer they still come in and we mm. still and we can see the way it is that I, I can really testify to that really actually the way you relate to your customer i can really see that you know you you are really uh, very good in you know that is in it. relating you with customer to, you have to if mm. you if you if you know that this, that is what you want to do mm. your customer service must be mm. very very mm. important mm. so in terms of like uh, getting people that will work with you mm. what is your uh, when is the right time to get um, to start looking for somebody that will help you and stuff and what would be the strategy to be able to find the right person it depends if anybody wants to start the business and uh, if you start some people you can you can say okay you want to have staff straight away mm -hmm. but you can say okay let me start maybe yourself and uh, maybe your friend or whatever to see mm. if you will need more people mm. because you cannot just employ people mm. for if there is no availability for that right so it's not that okay i want to have shop now then i have to go and employ that is why mm. you we should you should be able to know how many people you need maybe you need only one person with you or you need two people with you or you need three people with you so it right. depends mm. it's, it's not that because you have shop you have to employ Right. You might need them, but mm. the business will tell you how many people that you will need okay. as, 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 you as you are going to, with the business. Ah, right. Okay. That is what we, we mm. I can gather from this, the time we started. I don't have anybody, but it got to a time mm. there is no way mm. I cannot do it alone anymore. Okay. I need at least two people to work. So mm. with me as well. So okay. that is how mm. I said, you cannot just say, oh, mm. I have a shop now, I have to 
I, yeah. I need a staff. So you we are you have to know mm. if you need it or you don't need it yeah. as with the business going on. So what are the business expenses? I mean every business we have expenses. Definitely. Um so what are the business expenses that uh well I mean there would be a lot of them you can maybe you might not remember all of them yeah, on top yeah. of your head but the major you mean ones like overhead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The major one I would say is the rent. Okay. Because uh, if anyone wants to start, maybe you want to rent, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, to rent as well, that mm. is number, that is uh, the the major one. Because yeah. uh, either you make that money in a month, the landlord doesn't want to know. <laughs> you have yeah. to pay the That's landlord. Really if not, mm. this country, you can't own rent for your, yeah. for the, you can't own rent. Mm. If you own rent, it can tell you you need to leave because you've already signed the contract. So they can anyway. like charge, um, uh, do they pay monthly or annually? Yeah, no, it's monthly. Monthly, okay. Yes. Yeah. So when, when we rented at that time, we pay monthly. Monthly, okay. And, uh, but uh, they might have some, let's say, they can tell you to put some money aside like a deposit, mm -hmm. maybe two-month deposit or three-month deposit, then from okay. that you will be paying monthly. Right, okay. Or some. I, no, I remember at that time we pay every three, three months. Every three months. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. We, we used to pay every three, three months. So when we were in the opposite, we used to pay every three, three months. Okay. So apart from rent, then. Yeah, you can go for mortgage. Electricity as well. Yeah, yeah electricity as well. Okay. And electricity is another one. Mm -hmm. And the water. Water, okay. Yeah. And then you pay your your rentable which mm. is a uh, business rate business so they rate. are okay. that's to the council is it? to the council oh, okay yeah that one is varies from one shop to another it depends on how big your shop is ah, okay so that's like so, the opposite of for, for residential we usually pay yes yeah, uh, council tax yeah okay. yes so it's for, like council tax ah, so okay, we call business. it business rate oh, okay so the business is different is different depend on the how your shop how the, mm. the bigger your shop the bigger you pay okay the more, okay yes right so okay. if you have a small shop now i think this mm. day they are giving uh some shops some small shop don't pay mm. because they give them like okay uh, because of percentage the, 50 yeah, percent percentage like some incentive. Mm. incentive to start them so okay and get people encourage people to start to, business yeah okay. but but it's part of what the person need to put into consideration because okay. eventually you're still going to pay yeah okay so, Right. That's another overhead that you can't you, you can't you can't go away with. You still mm. have to pay it, and all has to come from from all that is expenses as well. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Who is this not for? Like, who are the type of people that we find it difficult to survive in this type of business? Yes. They. I will say people that you know. There are some people they will say, "Oh, I can't take shit," <laughs> because. Owing the business doesn't mean a lot of people will come in, they come from different backgrounds. Some people come in with a lot of uh, problems, you know, and mm. as they come in, they might talk to you anyhow, yeah. but you don't have to use the way reply they come in and way. reply them that ah, okay. way. You have to try and, you know, make the environment, let them feel at home where they come. Even when they are going through, you know, we don't know, we are just, everybody is going, you don't know what other people are going through in their life and uh, they mm -hmm. can be carrying it to anywhere they go. So mm -hmm. if they come into your shop, make it a place that is welcoming and yeah. uh, they can be very happy and uh, with the way you interact with them and mm -hmm. that can bring them back. Right, that's, that's really sure. great. So will you say where? You've been doing this for a lot. How many years again? Did since, you say since 2005? 2005. Okay, so that's a long time. <laughs> that's a really so long time. where? I mean, the question I was going to ask is that is he really does he worth it? Then is he a profitable business? But because you've been doing it for that long, I yeah. guess your answer would be yes. That yeah, the answer is yes because <laughs> okay. I don't do any other job anymore, so <laughs> okay. it pays the bills. And okay, yeah, yeah, it's profitable. Right, it's profitable. Okay, okay. I can recommend that. Okay, so what we what would be your final uh, word for people that might be interested? Because this is like a master class, really, mm -hmm. uh, for somebody that is interested interested in um, going into African um, uh, grocery store, African store. It's not just grocery actually, so it's a lot of things um, mm. involved. Um, so what would be your final award or yeah, advice? My, my own advice is just like uh, the person must have passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you have passion for something, yeah, you can go at length to yeah. do it. Mm. And also in any business, sometime when you start, it's not that you get the profit straight away. Mm. It might take time to, it might take some time. Yeah. And uh, but when you have passion and you are determined 
mm -hmm. to be success, you will be the person will be successful from it. So mm. that's that was, that's my own advice. Right. Mm. Thank you very much, and I uh, really appreciate the time again. Thank you, sir.